Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rainy and this is of course the Enchanted Planner. How are we all doing today? It is Wednesday. What day is it? The 20th. Ooh, 20th, I tell you. It's getting close to the end of the month. All right, so today we are in my health planner. We is in my health planner. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Oh, I forgot to put my breakfast in. I will do that after. Um, I'm, once again, I'll share with y'all, I really, really like this format. Like, really like this format. It works so amazing. I am so happy I stumbled across it. But I think today I want to try and do something a little bit different. We'll see how it comes together. Originally, the plan was free spirit, but I'm not really feeling the free spirit. So what I am feeling, once again, is, of course, florals, because it's that time of year. But I pulled out fun florals, because there's a lot of stuff in here I have not used there's a lot of stuff in here I have used, but there's a lot of stuff I haven't used. So I was thinking about these ones. Um, not those. We also have these. Oh my gosh. Oh, this book's falling apart too. I also have these like really big, if I can get to them. Good grief. Water, uh, water, wow, my water flower, water color florals. <laughs> then there's these realistic ones. There's quite a bit in here I haven't used, but I think... I want to use these because these like really speak spring to me like really speak spring to me I just haven't figured out there was something else I was gonna see if we can incorporate let's go to where is it happy year and I'll see how this looks because in here there is this this sheet which is kind of that whole April showers bring May flowers kind of thing. Not sure they go all that well, but, but, hmm, I don't know. We'll see, but we're going to get started. So I need some wax paper. The first thing we're going to do is rid myself of these really annoying uh, back pieces. Oh, I, oh, come off. I'm going to stay there for a second. I didn't realize those weren't attached to anything. So let's take this a tiny bit slower because the backing keeps wanting to bring up all of the flowers. So we'll just, we'll just be a little bit more gentle. That's all I got to say. Just a little bit more gentle. Um, Fun Florals is, is actually quite an old sticker book. I can look at it in a second and I will tell you where this baby is from. Where's my tweezers? Because apparently my nails don't want to pick anything up today. I don't know where you came from. Let's throw you back down there. Fun Florals was done in 2019. Do I want to fight with this thing again? I don't know that I want to fight with that again. <laughs> it's a little bit more work than I was planning on it being. All right. I also pulled out some washi that matches this pretty good. And I'm not sure how we're going to use it yet, but you never know. So we've got this lavender color and we've got this really like pretty, like, I don't even know what to call that, aqua and then this yellow. And then I also pulled out coordinating highlighters. So I think this should be fun. Now, the question is, whatever do we want to do? Um... Well, I say we just start throwing things down. How about you? Let's start with one of these big florals. Because we're not going to know. Something on my page. We're not going to know until we get there. But we are going to de-stick this a tiny bit. Because this baby, even though it's an older sticker book, is a little on the sticky side. I think we're going to go like... That means I need to cover up that line after all. So let's just take the white out across like so, or not the white out, but the Tombow. Y'all know what I'm talking about. White out is a brand. It's not a, not a complete tool. Everybody has their own correction tapes. Um, but I do want to cover up, and I didn't bring out my white pen. So let's take a look at how much we got to cover up here. It shouldn't be too much. Right there, oh, a tiny bit more down here. All right, so that's that. Um, Marilyn apparently got a bunk Tombow, or not Tombow, Uniball Signo. So I'm trying to think, I was gonna answer yesterday. This one says, 
where is it? I thought this said on it somewhere where it size it was. So I don't think, maybe these guys have, the, the numbers on it is UM153. So if I haven't responded to you in the comments yet, Marilyn, that would be the number on the uh, Uniball signal I have. But yes, you guys watched my, um, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, my blackout spread yesterday. And as I said, there are three different sizes to those white jelly rolls. There's a five, an eight, and a 10. And the 10 is the one you want. The eights work, not bad too, but for like really getting stuff done, the, um, the 10 is the way to go. Okay, I think we have a plan. I just started throwing stickers down, but apparently we're going around the edge of the page. Who knew? Who knew? Um, I need something that's a little on the smaller side, or I need something that's a bit bigger that will cross, or we do a little bit of both. So let's put these guys together and see where we're at. If we go like that, Oop, it's stuck to my background. Hold on, hold on, hold the phone, people, hold the phone. I just want to trim this off. Okay. I am slowly trying to get caught up on some of the videos because um, there are some of you guys that actually have YouTube channels. So I'm trying to get myself caught up on the, the who's who in the zoo and watching videos. But I am a bit behind, so don't panic. <laughs> I got to show my support too. You know, we're all in this together. We're, you know, putting ourselves out there on the internet, basically for people to kind of get a peek into our lives. When you think about it that way, like this is kind of a vulnerable thing to do. Like this isn't like a regular type of content channel where, you know, like you put fitness videos or something related along that line. Like this is, you know, when we do our planning videos, especially the after the pens, kind of gives people some like, insight into our like life <laughs> which is kind of strange when you think about it but I also think it's wonderful so um, let's take this guy and yeah I realize these stickers have foil on them but it is what it is all right now I need something that can go in that corner that's fairly small so let's pull this guy and we're gonna stick him in I want them to sort of match up there. There we go. Let's trim that off. Okay, now, that spot there is gonna drive me a bit crazy and I don't think it's pencil or anything. I think it's actually in the page. Okay, it's in the page. Now, here's the proverbial question. What do you do? What do I do? Well, I say maybe we just keep on trucking, if you will. I'm going to throw this guy down in the center like that. And we're going to see how we can make all of these work together. And can I see the lines through that? I kind of can. So let's white some of that out. It's probably a good idea that I just white out this whole bottom line because it's probably going to get completely covered anyways with stickers. So let's just take that Avengers initiative right now. Ah, speaking of Marvel, is anybody watching the Moon Knight series? I'm like a total geek when it comes to all the comic book movies. I used to read comic books as a kid, um, granted, but you know, I haven't read comic books in so many years I couldn't tell you who's who and what's what, but um, I did really enjoy them. And I am loving all of these, like the Iron Man movies and all the Marvel phase, like Marvel phase one, two, three, four, I think we're at five now. <laughs> I love them. I don't think my husband enjoys them as much as I do. And some of the movies are better than others. Like 
Captain Marvel to me was a bit of a disappointment, although we just watched it the night before last, I guess it was. And it was a bit better. It's not, you know what, I think it's going to be one of those, you know, maybe the third or fourth time you watch it is <laughs> the charm. But, you know, some of them have been better than others. I think one of my favorites is Thor Ragnarok from, um, from the Thor standpoint. That was probably my favorite with Thor in it. Love the Guardians. Um, yeah, there's just so many of them. And I love them. I think they're amazing. So, yeah, let me know if you guys are comic book junkies too. Well, comic book movie junkies. Oh, that one's too close to the same exact color. So let's move that away. Um, I don't really have a lot of options here. I'm just going to have to work with what we got. So let's, oh, I got to do this side. Why didn't you tell me, you guys? You probably did. I just didn't quite hear the message right away. Although I have to be careful not to cover up too much of this in the bottom because I write on these lines right down to the bottom. So it has to be a bit careful. All right, almost done. And then we'll bring that up around. I'm probably gonna go down the spine or the sidebar anyways, but we will take notice on that. I'm gonna bring the leaf this way and line those guys up ever so slightly. Yeah, see, I gotta be careful. I need that bottom line. All right. And then we'll trim this guy off. It's a good thing I went to do the white out or the whiting out of that bottom line because that made me realize um, I kind of need to be careful how I lay stickers down here. Simply for the fact that <laughs> this is a very functional planner for me, especially in this format. Like it is a dream. It's like total planner piece at this point right now. Anyways, at this point right now, because, you know, things change. I get bored with things and decide to go different routes, right? Um, we'll do this one, actually. We have this little piece here. So let's spin the page around so I can slip that right there. Then we just need to work on this side. Now these ones, oh, what am I doing? I can go... I think we're going to bring this one out. Maybe not yet. Where's that green? Um, I write in that box, but not these ones. So we can go a bit higher on these. that work too. I just don't know that I want that leaf in the overlap. So we're just going to get rid of that. And then we'll lay this yellow one down. I don't think I've ever done a spread or if I have, it's been a very long time where I've outlined sort of the edges. Like, I'm not kidding. I think it's been a really long time. Probably the first year I was planning maybe. All right. So I think we want to take, I want a different one. I think we want to do this one. And we'll bring that down into this corner here. Which way does it fit better? I think it fits better that way. Except for it kind of went down a bit too early and it's ripping the page. Please, please, please don't. Just, I mean, I'm going to lay you right back down, so don't rip too terribly much, okay? <laughs> I just didn't want those covered up as much as it was. I kind of want it, I think, spun around like that, which means I'm just going to sneak in underneath here before it decides to totally stick itself down. And wipe this out. And also redo that so it doesn't 
show through on the back end. Voila, voila, viola. Okay, kind of cool. Now, do we go down this side here? I need something for down there. This might be a bit too big. It's not bad. We can make that work, although I do want it a little bit more lined up with the edge of the page. So let's get the tweezers would be the better option here, right? Let's just get those tweezers. Lay that down, and then we'll trim off this little bit, because you never know. He may come in handy somewhere. It's pretty tiny, but you just never know. I'll put him up there with that guy. All right, now we have to figure out the rest of this down that side. But I also think I want to do down here. Or do we leave it like this and then put some boxes in here? Hmm. Wait till you drink. Hold on. Um. Decisions, decisions, decisions. But all right, in the meantime, while I'm thinking about that, we're going to take these little guys and bring them at the edges of the page. But do I need to white out these lines? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, so we'll do that real quick. I'm going to pause for this one because I don't want this video to get too terribly long. Okay, we is whited out. <laughs> I started him like, oh, I got to turn the camera back on. All right, so we're just gonna take this and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna flip it on its side over here and put it down there like so. And then we're going to take the yellow one and we're gonna play the same game and go all the way down the side of the page. I should probably cut these pages apart, but I will get there would be a lot easier than trying to move two pages but you know it kind of makes it also it's like they're not moving anywhere which is kind of nice okay so there's that one and then we'll take a red one and the same dealio I guess I probably didn't need to white out those lines but I did you know what I mean I don't want any black sneaking through in the florals so it's probably just better all around that I actually closed it off okay so now do I have a purple one I do so let's grab this oops there's a purple one I don't know where you were hiding out slip that one right there oh my nose my allergies are driving me crazy today if I sound stuffy it's because I am I, I don't know what to tell you my nose is just cut off this way this morning I'm like what the heck all right, so now I think we're gonna go yellow. Or do I wanna go green? I think we're gonna go green. And we're gonna go a bit bigger. I just realized something. I don't actually use these two bottom spots, so I guess we will see what will become of this spread, if you will. And then I have a yellow one sitting here on the wax paper. So we'll stick that down. Oh, my nose. <laughs> like mouth breathing because I can't breathe through my nose. Well, I can, but I just feel really stuffy. It's terrible. I don't want to be stuffy today. But I can't complain. The weather is absolutely gorgeous today, considering Google told me this morning that we should probably get some rain. I'm like, liar. Although maybe it'll rain later. I don't know, but I'm hoping not. That guy is a bit big, but because he's darker, we can overlap this without issue. Ooh, this looks kind of cool, people. All right, so I think we're going to sneak in here and cut these pages apart to make them a little bit easier to work with nice and slow nice and slow rainy don't don't rush it I'll close the exacto knife so i don't accidentally stab myself because you know that happens too all right let's pull this guy up and i think we're going to slip that in like that 
And then we have this one, which is his opposite. And I think we're going to go, no, I think we're going to go like that. And then we have this nice big bright yellow one. Like that. Now, and then we have all these like little sprigs. So we're going to come in here and use these little sprigs for filler down the side here. Uh, you can't really see that, so that's not too bad. And we'll stick that one. It's a little on top of each other, so let's not do that. Let's bring this one. Um, 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 um. Bring it like that. And then we'll bring one like that. It's ironic. I have been, I mean, I've had this Fun Florals book for a number of years. And these florals have never really appealed to me. But I was looking through today trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I'm like, well, project use the stash. So... When I looked at fun florals, I went, all right, there's two or three florals in here I don't really care for. Why don't we just bite the bullet and use them? And that is how this came about. I actually quite like this. See, these are the spreads that surprise me. The ones that I'm like, I don't like these. I don't like these stickers. And then by the time I get the spread done, I'm like, okay, I like these stickers. Sticker bits. Sticker bits. All right, you're going in the trash because you won't cooperate. So bye bye. And we'll take off these guys. We might sneak them in somewhere, you never know. And those guys. And there was a little tiny bit of an overhang here somewhere. I can get my hands on it. Let's get those off the scissors. Okay, anybody else hanging over? I don't think so, not on that side. And this side should be good because I already trimmed them. All right, so now we need the crocodile. We need the crocodile so we can punch the holes. Make sure I can get it back in my planner. And then we'll go to this side and do the same. Okay, now we need to decide what our game plan is now. I brought out the dated book because, of course, it needs to be dated. I think the ones I want are in the front. So, at least they're clear, so they'll show up over top. So we do need numeros. So we'll just pick up where we lost, left off because I need 30, 29. Get off my stupid tweezers. 28, 27, 26, 25. And then of course a one, which is right there. And then we need days of the week. But the question is, is do I want to try and integrate this washi in somehow? Or maybe I'll put it on the lines, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Let's start with the dates first. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and lay in the dates because I think we're about 25 minutes now according to my clock. Yes, we are. I'll be back. Okay, um, I decided to go with the paper ones instead of the clear because they showed up far better. So that's where we're at. Now we're just going to go through with our highlighter with our highlighter. Now that's going to be fun because I need. I guess we're going on the outside. I mean, uh, this could be interesting. Okay, so, oops, I'm taking off both sides. I don't want that. So we're going to go purple, 
And then we're going to go with this green. I noticed, I think it was on Twinkle Plants Her Day, Christine posted that um, Mid Our Zebra has released a whole bunch of new colors. I'm like, damn, got to get me hands on those. I doubt they'll be available here in Canada because that's usually the shtick, unfortunately. Um, how am I going to do this? I'm going to come up like that, I guess. Okay, so then we're back to purple. Purple. And then this last one will be purple as well. So while I've got the lavender mild liner out or purple mild liner out, let's just finish this baby off. Oh, I don't put anything in these boxes. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. I'll fix that in a second. This doesn't, yeah, I don't, I don't need this section. Dang it. This is yellow. Yellow is a bit brighter than the, um, what do you call it? The yellow and the flowers, but that's all right. It's far enough apart. You can't really see them. Okay, so this one does need strip okay now what I want to do I think is we're gonna see if I can white this out without making too much of a mess and see if we can't stick a floral over top down here somewhere grab one of these bigger babies because they take up quite a bit of room now we do need to white out some lines here though so let's, let's go getting that taken care of So we're just about finished here. Um, I'd be interested to see if you guys, what you think of this particular format for laid out florals. Do I want to, I don't know if, I don't know if I don't do, I, wanna, I don't know what I want to do there yet. So we're just going to take it easy here for a second and get this aligned so I can see what it looks like. And if I have to white out any more lines. Um, yeah, I'd be curious to see what you guys think of this particular layout, like this format that I'm using. Um, I'm finding it really super functional. Like, yeah, the decor options are a little bit more limited, but it is really, really functional. I didn't need boxes on these ones. That's okay. Maybe I can get hubby to go for a walk with me. Oh my gosh. So I got a story to tell y'all. <laughs> Oh my God. You're going to pee your pants laughing on this one. So I went um, to the park with my son yesterday and we went, you know, bobbing around and basically like, I don't want to call it hiking, but hiking. Like it wasn't, you know, just trails. That was nothing crazy like climbing mountains and stuff. However, my, my you wouldn't know that by the way my calves reacted. Um, they had a fit, like big time had a fit. You can tell that my butt has been sitting doing nothing other than eating um, <laughs> less than desirable foods and not really exercising for two years because the only other thing I ever have problems with is, is if I have to run around in high heels, like high heels, like we're talking stiletto type high heels for any length of time. That is pretty much the only time my calves and my, my um, tibialis era, which is the front of the shin or the front part of the leg on the shin freaks out like it did yesterday. So I was, we were getting ready to have dinner and my legs had already been, um, you know, cramping up everywhere from my calves to the front, to my toes. And, you know, I'd managed to sort of just take it a bit easy. <laughs> well, I went to fill up my water bottle at our water cooler and my toe had been cramping. So I went to, flex like Dorsey flex like press my toes in and lift my heel up so I could um um sort of work on getting rid of the cramp well a, a cramp came on so badly in my left leg I landed on my butt on the floor spilling my water all over the place I was like what happened I'm like well I got a cramp so bad my leg has decided it can no longer work right now 
So we had to go through massaging and trying to get the cramp to go away. And then in an effort to basically not end up um, being unable to sleep because of like really bad leg cramping, went and popped a few magnesium supplements. But yeah, I, I'm not kidding. If you had a, if you had to witness it, you would have laughed your butt off. And then when my son came down for dinner last night, I'm like, dude, you missed all the excitement. And he's like, what's that? And I told him about it. And he's like, from that walk, I'm like, I know, right? I've gone from being really fit to um, rather fluffy <laughs> and out of shape, which is why it's so important to me that I get my health back on track. And that's where, like, you've seen my um, health and wellness vision board um, the other day. And then there's the quarter two health and fitness goals pages I made. Because, you know, I'm not getting any younger. And as we age, especially us women, our bodies, like, we stop producing as much estrogen and that's where some of the problem comes in and we start to lose bone density and have the risk for osteoporosis and a whole other bunch of things that happen when our hormones decrease. And the only way really to combat any of that stuff is exercise and movement. But yeah, yesterday was a bit of a rude awakening. I was like, plus I wore the wrong shoes. Unfortunately, I hadn't thought about it when I left the house and we've been in that park. Like we spent a lot of time in that park when the kids were small because the chipmunks are really friendly and the chickadees are really friendly. So if you take unsalted peanuts, like they'll actually sit in your hand and take them from your hand. But I mean, we haven't been there in 15, 20 years or so. And when we were there, there was like no chipmunks to be found. I said to Kevin, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if they have like, generations there's been generations after generations of these chipmunks that haven't been like you know used to humans so they won't come anywhere near you or it's possible maybe they're still in hibernation but I don't think that they hibernate and if they do you'd think it would be over by now which reminds me I was actually going to look that up because I'm pretty sure we used to feed them in the spring all the time when the kids were small okay then we need down here we need water and then we need sleep score and then we need hours of sleep and then this one is vitamins and this is soap okay i think that's a wrap you guys i like it i think it's fun and it's bright and it says spring to me like you wouldn't believe so i'm doing a lot of these spring type colors love them although i'm itching for a black and white spread too so i'm like hmm, might have to get a black and white spread into the rotation pretty soon oh my gosh there's somebody at my door and i forgot to punch that bottom hold on oh my god that time of year where non-stop there's people at the door yeah you probably all realized I've got to punch the other other side um there's people at the door all the time trying to sell you services that's like the third one I've had this in the last week or so that's been like hi we're doing this in the area and just wanted to know if you're interested and I'm like no I'm not my husband does all this stuff I'm not paying someone else to do it all right, look how fun and bright that is. All right, you guys, that's a wrap. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, drop us a comment below and let us know so we can formally welcome you to our community and have a great day, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.